All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we back. This time we're talking about something very interesting. So a couple hours ago, Netmobile released a couple videos on their channel. One in particular is in reference to this guy right here, the Red Skull, right? And this actually gets me pretty excited because I like Red Skull and I've always wanted him to be a very good character in this game. And he's never had that. He's never had a moment to shine, whether with the base kit or with this uniform he's always just been a pure garbage pure garbage and that should not be the case because red skull is one of the most iconic villains of all times okay so yeah it would be pretty dope to see if he actually got something in reference to this trailer but i don't want to get people fired up what am i talking about well a couple of hours ago net marble hinted that we could possibly be seeing a part two right for the uncanny avengers update that we just got featuring new uniform for quicksilver scarlet witch vision sabertooth etc because in that comic run they're going up against they're teaming up all of those characters rogue and all coming together to take down this guy right here after he absorbs professor x's power professor x also gets mentioned so yeah it could be a legit part two, right? Where we get Professor X and we get a uniform for Red Skull and something pretty insane that people have been saying, right? Tier three Red Skull. Honestly, okay, I know we've had a lot of blast tier threes this year, but man, wouldn't it be dope if another one of the characters that's been garbage for super long in this game, like the game literally started with Red Skull in it and he never got a moment to shine. Wouldn't that be really cool if he actually got a uniform and a tier three that propels him a little bit, even if it's another blast tier three and we have so many of them? Let me know because a couple of you guys may think he's speed just because we have him in this uniform. Just remember the base kit for Red Skull, right, is actually a blast character. Keep that in mind. I've had him in this uniform for so long, right, and he still can't do anything with it. I even gave him a CTP of Transcendence. I have an ISO set on him, but I've never really taken him too seriously, even though I maxed out his skills and got him to tier two because it's quite sad that he's not good for anything besides the Shadowlands solo in World Boss he just dies really quickly so I for one I'm on that bandwagon I see a lot of people pushing for it a lot of people are already saying yes yes tier 3 Red Skull please I'm with it just because I would like to see another character get treated like how Iron Man got treated right kind of how like Captain America those characters that came in with the game and they've just been bad for so long. I love to see when those characters get a moment to shine. Especially somebody like Red Skull who's never, ever, ever been at the top, right? I would really love to see him get a uniform. So I want to ask you guys, are you on that bandwagon or you think this video from that Marvel? Actually, let me throw it up on screen right now so you can watch it and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the video, 
I want to ask you, do you think this is just a late post from that marble, right? And this video that you're posting right now should have been released before the update even went out. Or do you think they're hinting at something much more, right? Because we are due for an update in a couple weeks, right? So it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that they're going to do a part two for November featuring, right? Red Skull getting tier three in a uniform, Professor X and a few other characters to like make this a complete update. That would be pretty dope because I would love to see more super villains get a moment to shine and Red Skull is definitely one of the more iconic ones and there's a fan base for him and i would love to finally be able to build a couple of these characters that i have a tier two that i don't do anything with besides just take them into shadowland and like try to solo a low level floor just to see if they can do anything on their own like the most this is the most i would do with red skull on any given week i would take him in here right tier two and all with that ctp of transcendence and i would struggle to keep him alive and see if i can take down like a floor six not much else some weeks i wouldn't even bother using him i would just bring him to the end of shadowland and just use him for the tokens that's it like he doesn't have any other value besides that and that's pretty sad okay star lord don't play with me. don't play me son don't play me we're gonna try and see if we can lock this guy down this wasn't even supposed to be a shadowland video but i haven't i haven't used him like in so long man i gotta show him a little bit of love and the new vision is actually really really annoying like, he's really, really annoying now with the rework. Okay, come on, Vision. Let, let me take out Rocket. Because Vision is going to be really annoying. Oh, my gosh. Yo, Vision is actually... This is the worst part about a rework. When a character gets a rework, they become much harder in Shadowland. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. We actually have to tighten up. If we want to, like, actually win this... We're going to actually stun him, lock him down with the summons, use the one. Okay. We also cannot let Iron Man get out of here. Like, I played pretty badly here. Resco can do a little bit better than what I'm showcasing. But, yeah, this is literally the only value of a Red Skull. And the sad thing is, without the uniform, he absolutely could not do this. Because the uniform is offering him that um, shield on his one skill. Let me just go back here and I'll show you guys. What I mean, like, Red Skull is just useless without this um, uniform. But again, unless this is being sold for um, gold now. When I bought it, I don't think it was being sold for gold. I just bought it because I really like the character. And it looks really, really dope, right? I really like how it looks. But man, Red Skull is pure garbage. So I can see why people are, like, hoping and praying that he gets something to make him a worthwhile character. I don't know about you guys, but I would like to be able to use him in World Boss. Like, even if it was, like, on, like, I don't know, maybe stage 30 or something, right? It would be dope. To see him do more than like literally just go in here on like stage one. Like look at look, look. <laughs> let's see if we can do stage one with him. We're gonna give him Shuri. We're gonna give him who else can we give him? We'll give him Shuri and I need somebody who's gonna buff his survivability and his damage at the same time. Man, I don't even know who I can give him. What we'll do here, what is his leadership again? Okay, that's gonna give him defense, and then we'll give him Valkyrie too. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how we can do this oh my goodness we're, and we might even need to give him a a, a support like anti-venom but i feel like anti-venom might be too much anti-venom might actually like um do damage to thanos and accidentally kill thanos and waste my entry but it's fine let's see if we can do this let's see if we can do any kind of damage double support for red skull <laughs> stage one he has the cosmic cube and everything come on man it would be dope i know some of you guys are tired of seeing blasts like, but if they change him to a different type, right, with the uniform, also, it would kind of steal, yeah, bro, we need to tighten up. Anyways, it would kind of steal the shine, because I would like to see Onslaught in the game as his own character. So if, like, Red Skull gets an Onslaught uniform, I don't know, I don't know how I would feel about that. But as long as that doesn't take away from the possibility of Onslaught coming to the game, I'll be fine with it. But, like, man, he's <laughs> doing He's doing like no damage, fam. Oh boy. He's doing like no damage. Bro, this is this is just pathetic. I'm sorry guys. I'm not even gonna waste your time on this. This is sadness. Right? He's one of the most iconic villains. I know there's a lot of bad characters in the game, and he I wouldn't say he deserves it more than some of the other characters that's been at the bottom, but every opportunity they've gotten to give Red Skull something worthwhile, they've kind of just skipped over it because 
let's be honest, when he was in Captain America, that was a good opportunity for him to get something worthwhile. He didn't get that. When he was in Avengers, that was another opportunity for him to get something worthwhile. He still didn't get that. And this is yet another opportunity for them to give him something that makes sense and fit thematically because in that Uncanny Avengers run, he's the big baddie that everybody's teaming up to fight, right? So it makes sense for him to get a uniform or some kind of buff. Doesn't have to be tier three, but it does make sense. And the timing of this all just doesn't make sense to me. Why would they put out the trailer for this now and make Red Skull the focus knowing that he's so bad in the game right now and that's gonna like throw people for a frenzy and put people in a spiral, like get their hopes up and then possibly disappoint him. It wouldn't make sense to me for them to do that if they didn't have any plans of touching Red Skull with a rework or a uniform or something, right? I would personally love to see him get some kind of buff. It might be reaching a little bit to say he's going to get tier 3 because there's other characters that deserve tier 3 more than Red Skull. But I don't think it would be a bad idea to take a character like him out of the gutters and give people a reason to build him, right? Because I think if they gave him a uniform, people would buy it. Because we need more really good super villains, right? He's going to be an 800ccf character to get to tier 3. He's free to play. So yeah, that would make a lot of people, that would check a lot of boxes and make a lot of people happy. That's all I have to say. Boys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on these videos that Netmarble released. They released one about Dr. Voodoo as well, but that's a, that's a sour topic for me to talk about because it's Voodoo, baby. And, and uh, yeah, you guys already know how I feel about how they did it, man. But yeah. Boys, we're going to wrap up here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Just listen to your boy. Share his thoughts on these things, man. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling. Also, man, if you're not following me on Twitter, what are you doing, man? We're giving away crystals over there. Don't miss out, man. You Trust me, you're sure changing yourself. Also, don't forget, every time you watch a video, comment down below because, yeah, we're going to be picking somebody for that $25 cash prize real soon. You don't want to miss out. Anyways, man, we're going to wrap up here. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, you know what to do, man. Hit that dislike button two times. I said two times, God damn it. And if it's your first time here, man, go down there. Hit that subscribe button on your way out because this is what we do. And we do it daily, you dig? Also, man, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you're really down with the gang. I'm out. Uh...